Hi there, Taurus, Taurus Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your December 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. And yes, for this month, we're taking a look on your love life, the love energy, and how you are dealing with relationship, what might happen, and all of those kinds of things. So please do know that this reading is going to resonate. Uh, for those people that have a lot of Taurus, have strong energy of Taurus, whether it's your sun, moon, and rising sign, still it is a general reading. So keep that in mind as we go along. So the predictions here might occur and for some may not occur, but the energies in place will somehow be in line and in sync one way or another for many Taurus type of people out there. So um, yeah, without any further ado, just let's just dive into the reading and see what we are picking up as a whole. Now, the first card here in the reading, we start here at uh, the bottom we have here the seven of pentacles and the seven of pentacles has a lot to do with efforts hard work efforts and patience so um, this is the energy that you are dealing with maybe in a real relationship you have been patient with someone or you're trying your way to fix a relationship or trying to um to meditate a, a conflicting situation either of those things can be in focus right now because it is with the five of swords over here you know there this is the five of swords has a lot to do with you know dishonor and deceit so you know these two in combination would tell me that you have been patient with someone you know um just like i mentioned earlier uh this could be in a relationship or you know um, relationship we have with our friends our family or with our co-workers you know it really depends on what area of your life is being in focus and highlighted right now but it all goes over to all types of relationships now uh, as i mentioned earlier this is about you know you have been trying to do the hard work being a lot patient about a relationship setup but there is someone or you know there is a situation here that is causing some form of conflict maybe someone has betrayed you or someone is causing you some form of misery in all of those kinds of things so there is a form of struggle and conflict that we are seeing seeing over here and it could be that you know there is a huge possibility that this person whoever it is has some form of jealousy towards you we do see here the next card we have here the knight of pentacles so this always tells me that you know a message a good form of message or good news or good form of energy is coming through or has come through already you know this uh position always talks about uh, the basis foundation or something that you have already dealt with in the past so this could be that you know some form of good news helps has come in if this person is someone that is being hostile towards you, this could be a situation wherein they could be, um, they could be having some form of ill ill intent towards you because of some form of jealousy. Maybe things are finally working out in your life, wherein things have been in pause. You know, maybe in the past you had some form of troubles, or in the past uh, things were not working out correctly in your life, and suddenly you know, with all of the positive um, circumstances, maybe you are receiving a lot of blessings right now. Um, they are starting to to get jealous and they also want to bring you down you know that is also just one of the possibility of what this can manifest and bring this can also be a situation wherein you know if we're talking about love relationship as a whole it could be that you are in a relationship right now wherein something is disappointing you in that relationship you feel that there is some form of unfairness going on despite the fact that 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 person has shown you that they are once a responsible and reliable person you know there are a lot of positive energy into that person but right now you are at wit's end because you're trying to be patient you're trying to do your best to maybe save the relationship but uh, they're just doing something that really kicks in your 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 anger or really 
annoys you and irritates you that form of energy we are seeing here that in in the very recent past we do have the death card over here which is really telling me that you know uh, whatever it is that you're going through right now whether you are single in a relationship whatever uh, type of situation that you're going through um, there could have been some form of negative um, circumstances that has occurred you know the death card has a lot to do with transformation you know in a very general sense but in most cases it has a lot to do with endings and there could have been some form of problematic situations that you have undergone it, it it kind of feel that you know there is some form of misfortune that has occurred for you but i kind of feel that you know this is a, not a misfortune based on your on your luck it's it feels as if because we do have the five of swords over here it it feels as if someone is triggering this misfortune you know someone wants to sabotage you or something like that so that is that could be the heavy energy that we are picking up over here but um despite the fact that you are undergoing all of this circumstances in the past we do have here the king of pentacles telling us that you know you're still trying to to work your way around you know being a lot patient being more careful with things you are maybe treating things in a very mature way or if it, in a professional setup you're trying to um to work around things in a very professional manner this could be also a situation wherein you're just completely plain stubborn you know the king of pentacles has a very stubborn energy uh this can tell us that even though that they are doing things um in a negative light maybe they have ill intent towards you it could be a friend as well um maybe they're doing things in a very negative sense uh you're still trying to you know see the positive light into things you're trying to be more positive that maybe they do not mean uh what they really say or what they do what they have done you know it's like you still protecting someone despite what they have already done towards you and that is not exactly a bad thing this is just part of your nature because you know you are a wonderful person you are quite forgiving but the new uh the the one thing that i really see here is that you need to see the boundaries between what is acceptable and not acceptable in the relationship and learning uh when you should confront a situation and when you should be letting things go so that is just you know the foundation of this reading now let us see you know the uh the, the following events that could be transpiring for you now we are seeing here that in the near future you do have here the page of cups which is a very positive energy it tells us that maybe a, a lover can come some form of good news can come around some form of uplifting energy can be in focus it could also be a romantic partner or something that has to do with romance in the air could be um lurking in your own energy which is always a good thing it is a very light-hearted nature so if you have been undergoing a lot of stress this could be a wonderful sign wherein it's telling us there is going to be some form of good energy to come um wonderful events that might be entering in your life right now so there could be some form of good news and some form of relief um to be experienced now because of what you are going to be you know having in the future and i kind of feel that you know with the knight of pentacles over here it's telling us that something really good has occurred for you despite of your you know present situation and the problems that you are undergoing and that form of happiness and you know the happiness and harmony uh, the feeling that there is something that that's actually good happening in your life is becoming your fear it's like you know it's that fact wherein you are happy something is making you happy something good is happening in your life but at the same time and at the same time you are actually fearful that oh my god um something is really good happening is this for real you, you know you are having a lot of doubts of whether um this is something that you really deserve or you know is this something that uh, temporary will i get hurt about this and all of that kind of you know unnecessary thoughts might be looming in your mind 
this is also a situation wherein despite what you are going through there is really you know deep inside of your heart you are actually very happy you know despite of all of those annoyances and noises in the background of things so that is actually quite a, a good thing i pulled two cards here because i actually got two cards for this position and this is really talking about you know the um other factors that might be um influencing uh, your surroundings and how other people see you so right now we are already seeing that we have here the empress and the ace of pentacles so i would say that this is a situation wherein you are being blessed right now it could be that you are having a, a streak of good fortune and that is probably the reason why you know you are attracting someone to <laughs> to act in a way wherein um it's not entirely um i would say maybe they're not in their right minds you know they're not gonna they usually won't act in this kind of way but because of the blessings on uh, and the wonderful things that ha have been happening in your life maybe there are they are unconsciously acting in a very um uh, I don't know, in a very savage way or in a very um, uncivilized manner, I would say. But this is a really a wonderful energy wherein people see you in a positive light. And um, I would say that it brings in new beginnings, you know, new opportunities in your life. And it could it is actually very wonderful in terms of you know relationships as well it could be saying that you might be having some form of problems in your career or your professional relationship because we are seeing a lot of you know money cards over here as well but when it comes to your love life and relationships it's actually um, becoming more fulfilling which is always a good thing and the empress is a card of you know uh, fertility and a lot of good feelings coming through so so we have here a really wonderful energy next card that we have is the eight of wands so this is a, a situation we're in it gives us some form of relief and it also is like a signal wherein um sudden things can basically occur in our life you know sudden scenarios manifesting in our life as a whole and it's changing our our life and circumstances in a in a very sudden and upbeat manner so you know if you have felt as if your life has been stagnant as of late this is like a, a huge signal wherein you know things that are actually moving forward but whether you're liking it or not and if you felt that you know you had you didn't have any much luck in the past this is a situation where it, it's telling you that you know um, your time is coming in your your time to shine is coming in and everything is really moving forward uh, progressively and um, that's actually a very wonderful thing um, you're being more open to life and open to a lot of opportunities to come for you which is always a good thing so um the last card that we have over here is the five of wands so five of wands is another trigger point wherein it, it is telling us that there could be some form of conflicts not a big big problem but really more of petty annoyances which is what we are already um are seeing here at the foundation you know we are seeing that there could be someone who's trying to bring you down and all of those kinds of things and over here uh, we are seeing that, you know, there is an energy of aggression or annoyances uh, that you might need to deal with, you know. Um, a lot of uh, conflicts or confronta confrontations might be occurring, uh, all of those kinds of things. And this is something that you have to deal with. So I would say that, you know, this could be also a wonderful time that, instead of you trying to fight your way into things it could be a time wherein maybe there is a part of your situation something unhealthy in your life right now it doesn't have to be in a relationship it could be you know regarding uh, a friend or someone that you know or a specific situation in your life that is unhealthy and you know 
it felt it feels as if nothing is working right anymore maybe it is a time for you to let things go and you know there are basically disruptions and sudden circumstances in your life that in, in which that you cannot control anymore and it could be the right time to let it go it, it doesn't mean that you are going to leave uh a situation behind or leave a person behind it doesn't have to be that way it's just that you're not it is the act of of you not trying to control the situation anymore you know it doesn't mean that you want someone to stop doing what they're doing would mean that they should stop or or you know you cannot control a person and you basically cannot control a situation there are only a few things that you can control and that is yourself you know you can do your best to 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 just control how you are going to react on certain things you know and let fate take its course um, with that so there's going to be a lot of lessons in this especially uh, uh, lessons regarding regarding the people that um, you have allowed to take advantage over you so you might need to you know put a stop on that or put some form of boundaries in that however as a whole i kind of feel that this is a a, a wonderful reading telling us that Yes, there are, you know, um, circumstances in your life or in it's they are not working out anymore. But at the same time, it also opened a lot of opportunities to um, to focus on love. You know, it makes me feel that, you know, one part of your uh, one part or one area of your life is not working out and you, you have to let it go. At the same time, there is also a part of your life wherein everything is really moving forward, you know. So it could be a situation wherein you just need to cope up with whatever oppositions that you are feeling or experiencing as a whole. But there's actually really wonderful um, energy here with a lot of healing and a lot of, you know, romantic energy um, seeping things through. So, you know... I would say to enjoy what you can any good things that are happening in your life accept it and you know be thankful and be happy about the wonderful things that are happening in your life and don't dwell too much on the things that are not working and the things that are negative so yeah attract the things that you want and you know let the other things go um, and don't think too much about the negative factors and then just enjoy the moment is what I'm picking up here for a lot of you. Remember, um, there are just things that you cannot control and the only thing that you can control is yourself and how you react to things. And that is going to be your saving grace as you go along the month of December 2020. So um, yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you. Taurus people out there for listening and watching through this reading and I shall see you guys again next year and if you do want a more personal reading just for for you and for your specific situation you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by and I shall see you guys again next year goodbye